So, where's my crayfish? Um, in, in the freeze freezer? <laughs> Not here? In the supermarket? <laughs> no crayfish, but in the middle we've seen a beautiful manta ray. And we've just followed it forever. <laughs> so we forgot, we said like, crayfish? I don't give a shit. Go <laughs> oh, and take a chance, will you let me ride? I could be the best thing in your life. Take a drive, take a drive. Welcome aboard! If you are new here, I'm Cecile and this is Jan and we are two Frenchies sailing in the Pacific. In the last episode, you joined us in Great Cable Island as we were beaching the cat for the first time. If you missed it, link is in the description below. After all of this stressful work, now it's time to enjoy ourselves a little bit on and around the island. But first, we need to move again. I explained it last time, but Great Cable Island is amazing for boaties because there is an anchorage for all wind directions. When we first arrived, the wind was blowing from southeast, so we anchored on Leaks Beach. Then it moved to east, so we moved to Putney Beach, but we could also have gone to the busier Fisherman Beach or Monkey Beach. And now it's moving to the north, so time to go to Long Beach. And this, my friends, is called the Keppel Shuffle. This is Great Keppel Island, which we were facing when we arrived. But now the wind has shifted, so we are facing Middle Keppel this way. This island is way too small to protect us, not in height, but in width. So essentially, if one stop the swell coming in on both sides, it's not gonna be very comfortable and there's nothing protecting us this way. So yeah, time to move. Here are the wind predictions for the next few days. So let's just say that Long Beach is the best option. For our first day of fun, we decided to go spearfishing around Hallway Island Reef as it would be protected from the wind, which is unusual, then go explore the caves on the island. Unfortunately, the spearfishing session wasn't that interesting because the visibility was poor and the reef is not that beautiful, but we still caught a small coral trout. The caves on the other hand were quite a cool thing to see. I wouldn't go there at high tide though, unless you want a snorkel. Guess what? The wind is shifting again, so the couple shuffle strikes again. This time, we are going to the Svendens beach. Today, it's actually, the weather is not very good. It's raining and not very pleasant. But we're going to go in the water regardless, on the top of Great Keppel Island. We're gonna try and see if we can find some crayfish or lobster. Because yeah. usually the wind is blowing on that area where we're gonna go to, but because there's no wind, I think it's a pretty good time to get, go there, even though there's no sun. Let's hope we can find some crayfish, and if not, at least a nice fish, and uh, let's try to enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Thank you. 
Where's my crayfish? Uh, in, in the freeze freezer? <laughs> Not here? In the supermarket? <laughs> no crayfish, but in the middle we've seen a beautiful manta ray and we've just followed it forever. <laughs> so we forgot, we said like, crayfish? I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't care about the crayfish, just go for the manta. And we followed the manta forever. Beautiful. Menta was like 50 centimeters away from us. Uh, she came from behind, so it scared me initially. But yeah, then I realized, oh my God, that's a Menta. So I called Jen and I was like, Jan, 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 behind you. I think I scared the hell out of you. I was like, what's behind me? <laughs> I think we followed it for like a good 15 minutes and we completely forgot about the crayfish after that. It was just like, yeah. uh. And we were diving, so we were out of breath. Yeah, but... the rest of the snorkel was a bit, mm, the visibility was not great at all. Yeah, the, the water was very murky and with no sun in the sky, it gives that ambiance that we don't really like so much. And yeah, I don't know what were those particles in the water. That was very annoying. The rest of the dive was not so great, but it doesn't matter because we saw a menta. Yeah. Okay, no crayfish tonight thanks to the distraction, but we are still going to have a good time ashore. Svenden's beach is named after Carl and Lindy Svenden, who are running a retreat there. Boaties are more than welcome on the beach to gather around the fire pit. It's such a nice way to meet people of all age and background, and sometimes nationalities, and hear a very wide variety of stories. Yeah, take it easy, it's here. Beautiful. Gonna enjoy the evening. So I think there's a few people on board. Let me show you what I mean. Birds. One good thing about Grey Keppel Island is the variety of activities. One of them is all of the different hikes which lead to different sides of the island through amazing lookout points. Today we decided to take a 5 km walk to the restaurant on the west side of the island, same as we did 4 years ago when we first explored it.
gorgeous. Full moon tonight. Ooh, ooh. The next few days on Keppel Island were quite similar. We went spearfishing again, we briefly spotted a dugong and mostly just enjoyed the island lifestyle. But as all good things must come to an end, the weather prediction was showing something crazy so we decided to get back to the coast to a marina for shelter. Of course, that storm came earlier than predicted so it was a rocky sail. The proper storm. In the next episodes, we are hoping that we will get a weather window allowing us to go to the reefs in the Capricorn and Bunker groups. Make sure to subscribe to see that and see you next time. Bye!